This program is for entertainment purposes only. Something that the memos that I received, we'll talk a little bit about the memos. The memos are different from this classified documents. The memos are White House internal memos that discuss a wide range of things in terms of Trump's meeting with rabbis, uh, discussions with Netanyahu over the phone. One of the memos says that Donald Trump will have to declare himself king of Israel publicly. I am the chosen one. Publicly. This is part of the process for them. It, it doesn't, there's no strategic reason for it. It is symbolic for them. going to declare himself king of Israel at some point. I don't know how, but they're talking about it in these memos over and over again. When he's going to do it, why he want, why they want him to do it, which again is symbolic. It has no strategic purpose, apparently. It is part of the process of, what, of the end game, basically is what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, shut up, silly woman, said the reptile with a grin. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. Uh, based on my reading of the classified documents on the memos, so much of what is going on is planned. They've given people the impression that Trump has brought chaos to politics, but it's actually the opposite. It has been planned. Donald Trump's allegiance is to Israel. He's not only a Jew, he is a Freemason. They have promised him his daughter of the sons will enjoy a very high level ranking within the world government that they are forming. The capital which will be Jerusalem. Everything he's done, talking about the wall to the fake news, was scripted from the beginning around 2014 and 2015. And according to some of the memos I'm reading, he loved it. They introduced all of this to him and he loved it. They told him the plan, you're going to become president, you're going to say this and this and this. He loved it. He's already a little bit of a racist. He's already predisposed to some of this rhetoric so he loved it he jumped on board and they promised him great things especially for his family if he were to follow through on these things and simply follow their script and he does have leeway he has leeway to say many things that he wants to say he has a lot of fun doing this but he does have script writers and uh Well, Trump's speech writer, Stephen Miller. Stephen Miller has a big role in all of this. He is a dedicated Zionist. He has a lot to do with a lot of this. To me, this will probably happen in winter. Not this winter, but possibly the winter of 2020, 2021. From what I'm reading from the documents, that is the timeline. It is not specific, but that is where I feel it's going to be. Because they want to, uh, they want to do a flu outbreak. Uh, they want to do a flu outbreak. Uh, they want to do a flu outbreak. And it will make sense in winter and people won't question it. They have to eliminate a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people, high value, high value of targets. It's going to be so many people that disappear that people will ask questions. So they have their cover stories and they're getting them ready and they got them in place. 
if this were a few hundred thousand people, they could do it, but it is millions and millions of Americans that they want to eliminate. I think it's 15 million. United States of America, you're going to see world leaders and the media endorsing something that is so crazy, and that is the dissolution of the United States of America and, and the endorsement of a world government seated in Israel. A lot of Americans aren't going to accept that, but they have to eliminate the people who are going to call out what's really going on. From my reading of the documents, how they're going to roll all of this out and justify the dissolution of the United States and many other countries as well, it appears their plan is to do all countries at once. He's going to be under the cover of financial collapse. Well, we have to do the world government. We're all going to die because the financial system is broken down. That is something that is talked about in the classified documents. That ultimately will be the cover story after they do the purge and eliminate the dissidents, the people who are woken up to Zionism. There will be a total financial meltdown and they will say, look, we have to do the world government. We have to come together. We have to create this new currency. <laughs> successful, and we will be. We have a real chance at this new world order. 